Hi, this is Daniel DiTuro. Do you know the health risks linked to dietary supplements? In this video, I'll share what are dietary supplements, clinically unproven supplements that prevent nutrient deficiencies, a little is good, a lot can be fatal, and potentially dangerous supplements. Dietary supplements include a wide variety of non-prescription products to prevent nutrient deficiencies and muscle loss, increase weight loss, reverse aging, and more. In the U.S., there are about 80,000 dietary supplements. They include vitamins, minerals, protein, omega fatty acids, herbal, and amino acids. They can be in capsule, liquid, pill, or powder form. Anyone can advertise and sell dietary supplements. It is illegal to advertise or claim supplements can prevent, cure, or treat a condition or illness. While supplements can claim to support one or more health conditions, they all come with a disclaimer that they're not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This disclaimer does not mean supplemental calcium will not build and support strong bones and teeth. Healthy teeth require more than supplemental calcium. For your body to use calcium, you must get enough vitamin D. Healthy teeth also requires healthy gums. Supplemental calcium will not prevent gum disease and tooth decay from high sugar diets. No supplement replaces regular brushing and flossing. Vitamin and mineral supplements can help people with nutrient deficiencies. But most people taking dietary supplements do not have nutrient deficiencies. They take supplements based on self-diagnosis and unproven health benefits. Most people believe dietary supplements are tested for safety and efficacy. In reality, neither safety nor efficacy is required to sell a new dietary supplement. Prescription drugs must be tested and approved before they can be prescribed. Even then, the testing does not guarantee safety or efficacy. DNA, diet, and lifestyle makes everyone unique. In most cases, it's a question of benefits outweighing the risk. Numerous health risks are associated with chronic high blood pressure, from heart attacks to peripheral artery disease. Medications to reduce high blood pressure reduces those risks, but may have unpleasant side effects. That's different than supplements marketed to be clinically proven to support healthy blood pressure. For example, the supplement maker funds a two-week clinical trial with 20 people that have normal blood pressure. They're given a two-week supply of the healthy blood pressure supporting supplement. During the two-week trial period, the 20 participants continue to have normal blood pressure. The conclusion is that the supplement supports healthy blood pressure. When, in effect, the clinical trial proved nothing. There's a significant difference between drugs that lower high blood pressure and a supplement that supports healthy blood pressure. That's the case with most clinically proven supplements. Most supplement clinical trials are less than a month long and only have a few dozen participants. Some are based on animal studies alone, while others are based on lab test results. There are vitamin and mineral supplements clinically proven to prevent serious diseases. Essential vitamins are required for good vision to blood clotting. 
essential minerals for healthy bones and teeth, hemoglobin production, and nutrient absorption. While your diet is the best source of essential vitamins and minerals, some people, regardless of age, cannot obtain all essential nutrients from diet alone. In many cases, a non-prescription dietary supplement can prevent serious diseases. In other cases, prescription-strength vitamins and minerals are necessary. Your doctor and pharmacist know your medical history and potentially serious vitamin and mineral side effects. Many people believe supplements are safe because they're available without a prescription. The fact a supplement or pain reliever is sold without a prescription does not mean it is risk-free. Some supplement makers believe if a little is good, a lot is better. The vitamin C USRDA for healthy adults is 90 milligrams a day. This simple meal provides almost 180% of the vitamin C RDA. You can buy supplements providing more than 10 times the RDA. And that excludes dietary vitamin C. It may support your immune system to the point that it turns against you. Many serious diseases are due to an overactive immune system. The supplement maker's solution are vague health warnings. While supplemental magnesium supports nerve, muscle, and heart function, some people take high-dose magnesium to relieve constipation. There's a warning that diarrhea can be a side effect. There's also a warning about kidney disease and prescription drugs. Notice that the warning font size is smaller than other ingredients. This folic acid supplement may support nervous system function, but there's a warning about prescription drug interference, including anticonvulsants. The supplement industry wants you to believe all supplements, especially herbal supplements, are safe. Most people are not aware that some supplements can be fatal. For healthy people, there's little risk of overdosing on essential food nutrients. The risk increases for people with chronic kidney disease and other medical conditions. Supplemental vitamin K can reduce the blood thinner warfarin's ability to prevent blood clots. Antioxidant supplements like vitamin C and E can reduce the effectiveness of some chemotherapy drugs. Herbal supplements like St. John's wort can reduce the effectiveness of antidepressants and heart medication. In the US, potassium supplements are limited to 100 milligrams due to the risk of having a heart attack. You're probably thinking, why limit potassium supplements to 100 milligrams when one banana has about 400 milligrams? One reason is that food nutrients are not absorbed at the same rate as some supplemental nutrients. High-dose biotin can cause a false low on blood tests used to detect a heart attack. The biotin RDA for healthy adults is 30 micrograms. Biotin supplements can provide 33 to 333 times the RDA. What good is a supplement supporting healthy hair, skin, and nails if you die from a preventable heart attack? Some herbal ED and weight loss supplements are made with legal and banned prescription drugs. Supplement makers use proprietary formulas to conceal ingredient amounts. Proprietary formulas eliminates the cost of obtaining and defending a patent. Some takeaways from this video are that dietary supplements can cause serious side effects or be fatal. 
If you have a chronic illness, ask your doctor or pharmacist before taking any dietary supplement. And do not assume a supplement, even vitamin and mineral supplements, are 100% safe. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.